Configure Kickstart. Kickstart is the Red Hat method for automating the installation of a new system. Courtesy of its open source license, it's available for development by others. Ubuntu has taken advantage to simplify its system of automated installations. While many enterprises are simply creating a basic installation and cloning that installation to create new systems, Kickstart files are an alternative which provide an opportunity to set up custom installations from a single network server. In this video we examine the Kickstart configuration tool. Yes, it's a GUI tool used to configure Kickstart files. But it's a bit more important in Ubuntu for now because unlike Red Hat, Ubuntu does not provide a Kickstart template file. At least not yet. So let's install that Kickstart configuration tool. I do so with the sudo aptitude install system config kickstart command. And after downloading appropriate files or the associated package, it installs it. Now I can run the system config kickstart command and it opens the GUI kickstart configuration tool. As you go through this tool, just be aware not all of the options enabled for Red Hat Kickstart installations are implemented for Ubuntu installations, at least not yet. So there'll be some things you see in the Kickstart configuration tool that I won't talk about because they're not yet implemented. You can see the basic sections as identified on the left. First, there's the basic configuration section which includes options for default language, keyboard, mouse or pointing device, time zone, additional language support, target architecture, and whether the Kickstart file should reboot the system after installation, and so on. There are several options for installation method. It can be local from the CD, remote from a configured FTP or HTTP server. The bootloader options assume the use of GRUB, short for the Grand Unified Bootloader. Next, the Partition Information section allows you to add and configure partitions, but at this point it only supports the configuration on a single hard drive. The Network Configuration section supports the configuration of a network card or network device using dynamic or static IP addressing. Authentication allows the configuration of the system for usernames and passwords and by default it's set up to use the shadow password suite with the standard MD5 encryption. While the user configuration section allows you to enable the root account, that's discouraged Instead, you're strongly encouraged to create a regular initial user The Firewall Configuration section, while it seems active in the tool, it's not enabled for the Ubuntu implementation of Kickstart. In any case, Ubuntu security focus is based on App Armor, and I discuss that in other videos. The Display Configuration section may remain unused by many server installations, but if you're one of those few administrators who want a graphical desktop on your Ubuntu server, 
you can set this up to configure an X window system with a specified video card, which could be probed for, as well as a monitor. The package selection screen now includes an option to install the Ubuntu desktop, and that includes the GNOME graphical desktop environment. Finally, the pre-installation script and post-installation scripts support additional configuration beyond what you see here. Perhaps you need some special network configuration. Perhaps you want to copy configuration files after installation is complete. Whatever you do, you should save your work. I save it as ks1.cfg and discuss the resulting configuration file in another video. Thank you, and on to the next video!